What's going on guys? Custom RC Mods here and today is the beginning of the video. Okay, so we've got a bunch of parts in the sink here. Um, we've got the main chassis first off. Uh, got some rust around the screw holes um, and really kind of been getting dirty in the crevices and things like that. But uh, one of the main downfalls of this chassis is that, that the little hexagon shapes that they look cool they look like it's make it look really really strong i guess um from that's from my standpoint i guess but uh really for when you're cleaning it it's so annoying to get little rocks stuck down in there especially in this deep one right here and here those two are just so annoying to get stuff into so i'm gonna have to clean that through um we've got some bumpers body mounts all the way into let's see we got this seal for the waterproof receiver box hopefully that doesn't mess up with the waterproof waterproofing got the lid for that all the way down to the steering bell crank um and this body mount so yeah so let's get right into it i also have some things that i want um to clean with i got this like toilet brush kind of thing we got a bristle brush another like metal bris bristle brush thing and then we got the sponge a few other little sponges, and that's pretty much should be everything I need. Alright, so I started draining the water. And as you can hear that, um, and I just scrubbed everything during that time lapse as best as I could. I didn't really get to do as much of the little small parts as I'd like because uh, most of them were just soaking in there. I'm just trying to get all the little stuff off. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off and I'm going to lose all the audio while I'm doing this. So I'm going to go back to the time lapse and then I'll catch you when we're done with that and it's on to drying. Alright, so as you can see here, I've got all the little components that I just washed on this towel, um, and they're going to air dry tonight. Um, I basically just rinsed them off, and I drew them onto here, and I would call this a success, because um, I've seen a lot of improvement. Um, of course, as it dries, a lot of this kind of the dirt is going to come back that's in the edges, but I would say that in overall, just like the big stuff, this works perfectly. There's a lot of spaces like right in here that I couldn't get with my uh, sponges and brushes that I'm going to get with the paper towel off camera. But uh, yeah, so I think this worked out really well. Um, expect for my ne next video to be my slash rebuild video. Um, hopefully I'll do that tomorrow, which will be the next day for you guys. But um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, be sure to stay tuned for the slash 4x4 rebuild coming soon.